In a previous video, we sketched out by hand part of my car's dashboard that we're going to mount an iPhone to. Let me show you how to bring in that hand sketch into Solid Edge so we can create a real design. To start out, you go to the sketching tool and we'll load in our file. This is my hand sketch that I took a picture of with my iPhone. And replace this image. Now, Solid Edge doesn't know how to scale this image. So, first, we're going to do is take a couple measurements and then we'll scale the image down. Uh, so that it matches the right size. So this line here is supposed to be 149 centimeters long or millimeters long. You can see it's quite a bit longer than that, meaning our image is much too big. Now I'm going to get a calculator out and calculate the correct ratio so that we can scale our image down. So it needs to be a little more than 20% the size that it currently is. We're now going to click on the edge of the image and we're going to look at the height and width. Now we're going to keep the aspect ratio, so we're going to take our width, multiply by our ratio. And this gives the actual size we need that image to be. We'll type that in, hit enter, and you'll see our image has shrunk down quite a bit. And to make sure we got this right, we'll create another sketch along the same line. We're going to type in 149 and make sure the line is exactly that long. You can see it matches pretty closely. So from here, we're going to go off and create the other line for our, our platform. So they're not all at 90 degrees, so we want to try to stay close to the right, uh, to the actual angle of each of these lines. Now, the, the actual size, we know what they are. So, for example, in this case, we know it should be 47.5 millimeters long. So we'll type that in. We'll stretch out to the other side. Same thing. We'll get the right length on it. We'll line it up as close as we can to the actual line. Make sure the angle is correct. And we'll connect the dots. The other tool I want to show you here is the dimension tool or smart dimension. It actually looks at what you're measuring and tries to get right. So we typed in some numbers here already, uh, 149, which are right. You'll notice this little lock button I'm clicking. That forces or uh, that geometry to stay the same. It tells Solid Edge, this line should always be 149. Whatever you do, don't change it. We're going to do that for the other uh, dimensions as well to make sure they stay exactly that. Now this fourth line, we didn't actually measure. We just connected end to end. And you'll notice the actual length is a little bit longer than what we need it to be. So what we can do is simply type in the correct value, which is 54.5, and you'll notice the geometry updates the match. Now that we got everything done for our sketch, uh, we really don't need the, the original hand sketch anymore, so we'll, we'll click on that, and we'll hit the delete key, and it's gone. We're now ready to start uh, the next steps.